Here's how you add widgets like this on your iPhone's home screen. First, we'll navigate to the home screen page where you want the widgets, and then tap and hold any empty space on your screen. Your apps will start to wiggle and an edit button appears in the top left corner. Tap that and choose add widget. Now you can browse all the available widgets. There's a bunch of widgets available for separate apps and functions, but my favorite is the smart stack, which will hold multiple different widgets in a stack, allowing you to swipe between them. You can choose between a small, medium, or large version of the widget, and you can also resize it after it's been added to your home screen. This phone I'm using doesn't have a lot of content on it, which is why a lot of these are showing empty, but you get the idea, you can swipe through your stack, revealing all the different widgets. Tap Done, or any empty space on your screen when you're happy with your widget. If you want to choose what's displayed in your smart stack, you can tap and hold it, and choose Edit Stack. Here you can turn off the Smart Rotate and Widget Suggestions, and tapping the plus icon on the top left corner allows you to add more widgets to your stack, while the minus icon in the top left corner of your widgets will remove them from your stack. I'll remove this podcast widget, and then go ahead and replace it with something else. You can also add widgets on your lock screen. With your phone locked, tap and hold on the screen and choose Customize. Here you can add widgets, and if you're using iOS 26, you can choose the position of them as well. The lock screen widgets are pretty small and modest compared to the ones you can add on your home screen. And to be honest, these are a bit useless. There's limited space, so you won't be able to display a lot of them on your lock screen, but some beats none, I guess. And that's pretty much it. Widgets are a nice way to customize your home screen, and if you own a Mac or iPad, you can do the same thing on those as well. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. Click that subscribe button on the way out. I always have easy guides like this that help you learn more about your devices. Thanks all, until next time.